everyone. So yeah, uh, on that note, let's move on to the second half. And for that, um, we usually have a special guest monologist, but this week we're going within the group to invite up uh, Danny Kaplan. Oh my God! He needs to introduce a PRC uh, main member for two years now. Three years? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you crying? It's, it's all a blur, people. Uh, and he's leaving us to move to London. So, uh, you know, we, we're going to wish you good luck on that. I'm sure you'll have a very successful time. But tonight, uh, we're going to ask you to tell a couple stories from your past um, in what we like to call long form. So you, the audience, will give Danny Kaplan here a couple words of inspiration. He'll tell stories from his life. And uh, then we're going to jump on, and much like your words inspired our scenes, or your suggestions inspired our scenes in the first half, now Danny's stories are going to inspire our scenes in the second half. All right, so he may talk about his like family dog or something, then we'll jump on and do a scene about a dog. That's how this works. So why don't we give Danny um, a couple words of inspiration. Boxes of stool. Boxes, stool. Oh, oh. He's got a good story. Which story that? to choose there? Pay <laughs> <laughs> rent. Rent, paying rent. Braces. Park benches. Braces. Uh, I'll go with paying rent. It's not like the funniest story, but it's sort of an interesting story. Uh, about, I guess, two years ago now, I moved into a place with a roommate. And it was a pretty nice place, uh, but we made the sort of stupid move of not like negotiating enough with the landlord about rent stuff. Uh, and so, we uh, agreed to pay a two months deposit and two months of rent for the very first time. Which, four months of rent, like, that's a decent chunk of change. Uh, and between the two of us, it was a lot of money. I'm trying to remember. Uh, how much was it? Uh, 36,000 RMB. Which is like, I don't know if you guys have ever taken out that much money from a bank, but you do it in hundreds, and like, you feel like such a badass drug dealer because you just have like stacks of cash. They have to, you know, they like wrap them at the bank in uh, rubber bands, and you've got like these three full fat stacks of just like, I don't know, it feel really badass. And then, like, I got to uh, my landlord's office, uh, and I like handed them over, and like she sat there and counted them. But like counting thirty-six thousand RMB is not quick either. So it was like a really awkward silence of us just sitting there, like, okay, like, do I have enough drug money? <laughs> is this gonna happen? And then it was totally fine. But it was amazing at the end. Uh, like getting two months of rent back from your deposit. Usually when you leave an apartment, you're like, okay, like, yeah, this is all done. I got my deposit back. I got 18,000 RMB. <laughs> and it was like, oh, I can go do whatever I want. Time to buy anything. So. Thank you. Oh. Shall I pour you a little baijiu? Because I've got a story to tell you. I don't, I, okay. I normally don't drink in the morning. Oh, once you hear this. Sorry, 9 a.m. Shall I saw a couple of uh, Lao Wai today in my real estate office. Oh, ho, oh, oh, they were fresh off the boat, Lao Wai. I got them to sign a contract <laughs> for a two bedroom, six months up front. <laughs> yeah. And wow. the contract, um, it's meaningless in our country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love these Lao Wai, you know? It's like piggy banks. Piggy, piggy, Oh my god. Wow. 
Uh, these are chopsticks. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, Americans, are you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, from LA. What yeah. you're looking at here is an authentic Chinese apartment. Wow. What you're looking at here, right. You, you Americans are beating down my door for this level of authenticity. Oh my yeah. god. You, he doesn't look like he's speaking. I, I, <laughs> yes. you know, I have a question for these chopsticks. Yes. If I use four of them, it's just like a fork, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, in a way, yes, but when you're living in an authentic apartment like this, you're going to want to really get Asian on your food. You know what I mean? Like soy sauce or. You're going to want to really. Some chop suey? <laughs> like orange chicken? Yes. <laughs> General Sal? All of that, yes. <laughs> do, you do what you Listen, want. Sure. You live here, you do what I, you want. I just want to say, can I just say, can, guys, can we just have like a moment? Number one, I've done a lot of work to prepare for coming to China. Okay? I ate a Panda Express at least like once a day before I came here. And I watched The Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> I watched Rush Hour. <laughs> uh, your stories are very fascinating, American couple. Now, as I point you um, to the features of this wonderful, authentic Chinese apartment, uh, as you can see here, here's an authentic uh, toilet. It is what we call a squatter. Uh, you can see here, uh, we went. We wanted to keep the uh, authentic nature, so we didn't bother putting in porcelain. It's just a hole in the dirt. <laughs> I, I've heard about these. They say that. In in uh, Asia, the toilets are super advanced. This yes. must be one of those super advanced ones. You know, they say the toilets even wash your butt for you. Wow, well, we've got even more advanced than that. This one is you, right here. What you're looking at is a sustainable green toilet. Okay, you're just giving back to the wow. earth. Okay, you you have wow. zero carbon footprint on this. All right. <laughs> all right. Sometimes I think about. Oh, no pictures. Please. It was a Snapchat. Okay. <laughs> Sweetie, I think about how much we could help China just by using a green toilet. Oh my god. Right? There's so many kids here that could use our help. We. Yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt you guys, but once you see this bedroom, you are going to flip out. Stars yeah. and stripes are going to blow out of your American mind. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what we're looking at here is a. Be Sorry? Yeah, I know, the, I that happens with the lights every 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, you'll, it'll be hard and you'll get used to it and you'll love it. Okay? So what we're looking at here is a, a state-of-the-art, ergonomic, Chinese authentic bed. Okay? It may look like, well, it's, it's a block of wood essentially. <laughs> but your back will feel amazing. You will have the posture of Confucius. <laughs> I've always heard about Chinese traditional medicine. I really think this could, you know, fix all of our problems. Oh. With, you know, we sleep on such hard beds at home that give me a little bit of a backing. But you know what? This Chinese traditional medicine will definitely fix it. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, yes. You, you, I assume you're talking about acupuncture, right? <laughs> I mean, I was just talking about the bed, but... <laughs> well, uh, you've heard of acupuncture? Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's magical. Cure anything? You may see a lot of discarded needles <laughs> all across the <laughs> So, uh, you know, this is really good. You can just... They're all... Good for acupuncture. <laughs> they were chosen by our in-house TCM specialist, Mr. Ling. <laughs> wow. What a sage name. Yeah, he may he may occasionally come and collect your garbage uh, for resellable bottles. Uh, he's big, he's an environmentalist as well. <laughs> uh, uh, is there like elevator music? Is someone playing piano? So, um, three of your neighbors uh, teach. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, that's uh, Mr. Tu, okay? So, uh, he uh, teaches children Mr. trumpet. Um, you've got, <laughs> old, you've got, you've got old, woman, old woman John next door. She's teaching kids piano. And 
to your uh, flank, you, you you have a just. He's a guy who's insane and he plays accordion music. What I'm saying is, you have a three piece orchestra living around you. You don't even need a stereo, and you wouldn't be able to have one anyway because there's no electricity in this apartment. Um, like I said, very authentic. Wow. Gosh. And you said the asking price was ten million RMB. Yes. Right? Uh, which. <laughs> <laughs> Honey! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I yelled at you before. Come on, we'll be, we'll be, everything will be fine. I just got off the phone with our realtor. And you know that house on yeah. Cumberland and Maple? The one you, every time we drive by it, you say, wow, I wish we could My afford that house. house. Your dream house, that one, yeah? I worked out a deal with the realtor. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We can move in next week. <laughs> What? Yeah. Oh my God. It's great. It's everything we've ever wanted. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's great. We have to sell our, our house between now and then, so we can we can give it all in cash up front. Um, and uh, I'll probably need to, to uh, lease my car. Um, you might need to to uh, okay. drive Uber part time for the next six months. Um, a dream. Yes. Yeah. A dream's a dream. You know. Yeah. Good. I, you know what? I, I'm really glad that you are. Understanding that, um, I've already put uh, uh, Fido down as a, a, a down payment uh, as well. But you know, he's he's gonna be better. Our dog yeah. will be better. And, he was and the old. realtors. He lost that leg. Well. Yeah, you, you're so understanding. I know. Okay, now I need you to help me talk to Anthony um, because, well, I told him we we give him our son. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, a good son. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anthony. Gabriel? Yeah, no, not not Gabriel. Not the good one. Oh. Anthony. Oh, oh, oh. Anthony! Are you ready to make final deal on Dreamhouse? <laughs> oh. Anthony! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> um, how's the How electric tuba practice going? Yeah. Fine. How's your not girlfriend, stupid? <laughs> whatever, mom. Whatever, dad. Game's been annoying me again. Sport of here. Maybe my brother is such a goody two shoes. Maybe you'll meet someone on the internet. Yeah, I'm more like get kidnapped or something. Well, I don't go on the internet. Okay. Well, um, Anthony, I'd like we've... to uh, introduce you to uh, Pieter. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> um, Pieter lives in. <laughs> this is great. This is. You know what? Your mother and I would never allow you to smoke. Yeah. Normally. You can abuse body under my supervision. <laughs> Pieter. You look really cool, sweetie. Lives in a place called Vladivostok. <laughs> yeah, risk. Near <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Exciting, wonderful, gray, cold place. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds nice, doesn't wow. it, Anthony? Yes, wow. You guys. Oh, you know this yeah. is okay. Um. Well, what would you say about going on a long, a long trip? trip? Yeah. Do some uh, Vladivostok guy and do I have to come back? Um. It's up to well, you. we can. We'll talk about that later. How about we let's table that discussion? Okay. Do you... maybe if you actually had something to offer the family. Maybe. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Sure. Sorry, Peter. Uh, Anthony. It will be. <laughs> Good. 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 Listen, this is going so much better than I ever thought it would be. I mean, we are giving up our second-born child, and and he's wanting to leave. Yeah. Like in the movies, normally there's there's gnashing of teeth and tears and. Do you think he's like on to us? Hey Peter, you know the reason I want to leave my parents is because they sold all my stuff to buy some dumb house. I literally have no belongings and our family is horribly in debt. It just seemed like real douche. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are there like hot women in Vladivostok? They got very tall. Uh, they find you. <laughs> in Vladivostok, you don't find women. They find you. They make you their boyfriend or girlfriend, depending on how tough. <laughs> <laughs>
I think you learn how to smoke from better, but yes, you smoke like bitch. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. My parents are just colossal jerks. They really are incredibly selfish people who just want like weird material things to make their it's life like, better. It's like I make I make him dinner, and he eats it. I know this. We've been the most supportive, loving parents that we can, right? Yes. And so that's why I feel good about. Kidding. Trading him for real estate. I hate him. <laughs> I, I, okay, hate's a strong word, but I really, really, really don't like him. <laughs> this cigarette is making me a little nauseous, I think. I think I smoked it too quickly. It's a Are you supposed to just like inhale and like keep it in your lungs so you get more of the, the effect? Or? Yeah, don't be wasteful. <laughs> to keep nicotine uh, deep inside. Press. There's no need to exhale. You see Petri, when he smokes, there is no exhaled smoke. I absorb all. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the first, like, anything that anyone's given me in a really long time. I just had a birthday present, like, two months ago on my birthday because my parents were too obsessed with buying property. That's like they didn't understand monopoly. Here is early birthday present. Oh. It is vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Petr. <laughs> it tastes good! Can you, can you feel the chest there growing? <laughs> you are not mad. There's burn feelings around here on my chest. That's what you mean. You know, I'm feeling, I'm, I have this overwhelming guilt now. I, this, you know, this isn't a good idea. Uh, you know, sorry, Peter, you know, I, we're, we're, we're his, his blood, we're his parents. Honey, this is, this is the right thing to do. Sorry. Fuck you, Mom and Dad, I'm out of here! <laughs> We have a lot of waiting. Hasta la vista, bitches. <laughs>